Hello, you beautiful people, and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect Andromeda. We are now gonna hopefully enter here and have a chat. Hello, boy. You took down all those cat? Sure, use the power relay. Hell, take whatever you like. Word of advice, though. If that signal of yours is out past the perimeter, you'll need a ride. A ride? Shuttles aren't fun in these winds. You need wheels. I think they kept a little something in storage. Didn't get around to salvaging it yet? I tried. It ain't that simple. Might be easier for a Pathfinder, though. We're heading to our shuttle. Keep this up. Maybe next time we'll find more than just salvage around here. Go on. We'll take it from here. I guess Crazy Blue has to buy her parts from someone else. Okay, so we have a vehicle. That is nice. And we can enter the other room, right? Item pickup. Welding electrode. Okay, good. Take them. Power control in standby mode. Press to activate. Power restored. We should have access to everything in site one now, right, Sam? Correct. Plus, I've located the source of the signal we detected in orbit. It's coming from the large alien structure just beyond site one. The structure appears almost identical to the one your father used to adjust the atmosphere on the previous planet. It's worth investigation. Let's not forget what else happened on Habitat 7. This is powerful alien tech. We need to respect it. Go slow. For sure. We'll follow your lead. A warning. Radiation levels beyond the perimeter of Site-1 are well above acceptable limits. You cannot proceed without additional protection. So if that structure could make a difference here, well, that would be really good. Come on, we better find that vehicle Clancy mentioned. Okay, quiet. Now the power is restored, we can investigate the nearby buildings. Yeah, we will. And since it is a vehicle, first of all, I'm gonna get in here too. Um, it should be quite a big container, right? If walls could talk. Actually, with enough sensory data, I might be able to reconstruct an image of the past. Wait. You can do that? Normally, it would be impossible. But since this is an initiative building, I have access to a multitude of data and arrays. Holy shit, it works. Can you get audio? Compiling now. Wilcox thinks I'm crazy, but I know what I saw. I can't survive another attack. This log was recorded a day before the first cat We can't return to the Nexus with our tails between our legs. The whole station is counting on us. Then they're counting on corpses. Those things must be talking about the cat. Yep. Good. That is then done. Nice. Data pad. Now, Chief Engineer Grace Lito, login. My radiation shields are dead, but f I finally made it to site one. Promise is a oh, promise is a ghost town. Damn it! There's got to be something. The storms and red packs out just didn't take away. Without the, the project, site two is done for. Our crews get torn apart faster than we can patch things up. And we hear that thing at night can't pretend it's weather anymore. Wind doesn't roar like this. Hungry. Ah, uh, roar like it's hungry. Update. Uh, managed to pry enough components out for the project and patch up my shields I'm heading home to site two it's if it's still there all right there was something very wrong at the second outpost they made an attack the radiation whatever it was site two made a special project to handle it let's keep it in mind for later exactly that is what I thought Now that is where the container is in, first of all, uh, the car I meant. Before that we are gonna go into the other ones, first of all. Well, what do you know? The outpost research center is still intact. Updating the Tempest on this critical recovery. Research was always key to the initiative. We'll need it here too. We're not scavenging anymore. This is how we rebuild. Someone else agrees. 
This research center was used recently to monitor the alien signal. This gives us the tools to find the source, and maybe whoever else is looking. Yeah, that's cool, right? Okay, and the scanning sound I think is coming from the container with the car. Or with the vehicle, uh, to say it more precise. The research station is back online. I've provided a list of weapons we can build by gathering the required components. Okay, good. Um, that is something, the research and stuff we are definitely gonna need to get into. There leads no way around, I am afraid. afraid. So, Senior Foreman Adriano for Nesca tried out the new pin design on the shelters today. Only time will tell if they actually hold together when the storm rolls over. At least it should be easier to find the pieces this time. Shorty's pitching for an evac back to the Nexus. Too many cat, not enough water. No hope, he says. I'd rather set supplies and sleep on the deck there. And lie awake listening to the storms one more night. Can't say I disagree. Losing three of my guys to the cat made me wonder about leaving too. But I ask him what I asked myself. What's back on the Nexus for Pioneers isn't Eos. What we signed in for, it has to be. Ah, that with the car obviously now makes certain why there are car tracks. Or vehicle tracks to be uh, a little bit precise but anyhow so there was one more thing we can do here and I will now enter here and see what we have here okay resources not gonna complain Supply situation technician K. Uh, Thartingale. They divided the rations again. Tonight's menu soup with a couple of uh, crackers each. Hope we are not too hungry to prop out a south building tomorrow, but there's nothing else for it. Can't forage because the weather is deadly. Can't grow crops in those winds. And the Nexus can't feed us and themselves. No, don't think about it. There's talk of going around of getting back to the Nexus, but if I, uh, if we can't find an answer, who can? We dare to put our bootprints here. We are first. Me and Theo promise to stick it out even if we end up being the last all these challenges and the colonists still tried to tough it out they didn't know what they were in for they weren't told sam and i could have helped them this won't happen again but yeah but we weren't there buddy there's nothing we actually could have done now one last thing to check before we go to the car I was not. Um, I was stopping there in case you wonder because I thought the noise were, were the aliens landing here. But if I'm correct, this door was blocked, right? Yeah. All right. Thank you for the distraction game. Okay, nice. Let's find the vehicle, and that is gonna what we are gonna use on the car too. Uh, on the for the ship, I guess. Special requisition: all-terrain scout rover. A nomad, six-wheel drive, jump jets, just what you need. The initiative only built a few. This must be what Clancy meant. The crate requires an access code from a forward station. Forward stations act as emergency resupply checkpoints. Several are currently in orbit. I can call one down. Let's find a good spot. Okay, call down a forward... Station? Okay, okay, yeah. Wherever it needs to be that far away, but anyways. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. There we go. Okay. Uh the Baba Yara 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 multi deployed coordination. This is Looks like the forward station supplies are intact. Downloading Nomad Crate access code. Good. We can call them down in space. 
do we are we actually going to be able to build i don't think we are going to be able to build outposts right that would be crazy I do like this vehicle. But only two people fit in, right? No man should handle pretty smooth. Check both forward and reverse, would you? Can jump. We have a boost, right? Cool. Nice. Uh but we need to now. To do something here, right? Okay, wait. Let us take a quickie look to quickie. Uh, let's take a quick look to the map. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. That is where we need to go. All right. We are gonna then be in the car and drive there. Whether we get there, I can't promise, but I'll do my best. Enter. We are going right. Can't get traction. It's too steep. Switch to six wheel drives. It'll get you up there in a snap. Ah, I see. Okay. That's what it is there for. Remember the Nomads jump jets. They'll get you over most obstacles. If you need more juice, the boosters can accelerate you out of trouble. Got it. Signal's coming from that structure up ahead. Okay, that's the exit again. All right, all right, all right. Okay, we got here. Anything else to scan? I'm picking up initiative tech nearby from above us. I see it. Up on that piece with the scaffolding. It's working. But I'm just getting random symbols. Glyphs. With more glyphs to expand my database from Habitat 7, I could interface fully with the console. And hopefully start up whatever helps the atmosphere. Okay, but guys, that search... I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. Okay. But guys, that's search we are going to do in the next episode for now. You know it, I, as usual, really, really thank you for watching. If you guys actually do have enjoyed this episode, then please give me a little tinsy thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully, and hopefully I see you in the next episode. Until then, I wish you all a wonderful day. Sifrostai.